Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you'll continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post. But also I can tune into your energy and bring more personal messages, messages to you as I meditate. I can pull in on your energy um, and bring messages that you know what you're really resonating with from spirit. So this is going to be you, your current energy and feelings towards love and dating and your person's energy, the one that you're coming in contact with. For those of you that have asked about personal readings, the link to my Etsy shop is below. You could just, you know, click on that. I'll take you right over to see the readings that I put that I'm offering. They're very inexpensive. I don't charge a lot to give guidance or light to people. Um, I also have went through times where I needed clarity and, you know, I just want to do that for people. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you might, in the near future, be exchanging gifts with someone. So somebody might have recently come into your life. This did fall out, but it didn't flip over. You might have a cat, but it's like you might... Be exchanging presents with somebody in the very near future. They might even have a cat that looks like that. But the energy that you're in, you're ready for a new life. You're ready for a feeling. Um, you're ready for something that you just, you know is going to be worth, like worthy. Fun, exciting, equal give and take. And your person's energy towards love and dating and wanting to find the right person is happy, happy. So it's, they want something that's going to bring happiness into their life. I mean, we all do. They might be a very happy individual. You know, very positive energy towards them. Always, you know, there's people that are always in a good mood. And, you know, no matter what's going on, they always offer the best advice. And just they light up the room when they walk in. It's that kind of energy. It might, it also looks like Sagittarius. Like when this person comes into your life, it's going to wake you up from like stagnant times all right the energy of sagittarius for love and romance for current energy towards love and romance okay like i said you want something that's going to be equal the justice here you want something that's like because of the things that you've went through in relationships, the things that didn't work out, probably the best of yourself that you gave to someone and didn't receive in return, you want things to start working out in your favor. You want something that you know that it's going to be a victory for both of you. You want them to be trustworthy and fair. And Spirit's saying, release anything that no longer worked in your favor. Pay attention to feathers. See that those peacock feathers? Pay attention to feathers in the near future. Might be spirit's way of getting your attention that your person might be in your energy. Or they're telling you to keep your vibes high, your energy high, so that this comes to you a lot quicker. But spirit's saying it's time to move on from anything that didn't work. Release the past. Let go of anything that hurt you. If anybody had ghosted you, said harmful things to you or, you know, did harmful things, heal yourself so that when this person comes in, you can be in the same energy, the same happy energy they're in. And the six of autumn, the things that you put out to people, the time and energy, the love that you put out to someone, it's finally going to come back to you. It's going to be that equal give and take. All right, Spirit, the person coming towards Sagittarius, what are their energies in regards to love and romance? Okay, thank you.
Holy Spirit. The Emperor. And look at this. At the bottom of the deck is the Empress. The two of you are going to be divine counterparts. You're going to complement one another. You're going to be supportive. No games kind of relationship. It's going to be solid. The person coming towards you could be an Aries with it being an emperor, but could be a fire sign. But like I said, they know their worth. They know they've made a happy life for themselves. They've got stability. They've got things to offer. The ace of winter. They want something that's going to be trustworthy. They want that brand new beginning where they know, you know, they don't have to worry about if what you're saying is true or are your intentions real. They want something that's going to be honest. You're going to collect, you're also going to connect on an intellectual level. And three of summer. It's good. The, you coming in contact with this person is going to make you feel like the two of you just need to celebrate all the time. And like I said, with the Empress showing at the bottom, it's going to be that divine counterpart. Definitely could be a fire sign. Yeah, the two of you might meet around the summer beginning of fall. You might have Libra in your chart. They might have air in their chart and fire. We're going to see the characteristics. The characteristics of this relationship. All right, spirit. Please show me the characteristics. The potential of this relationship coming together for Sagittarius and their person. Yep, it's going to be a brand new abundant beginning, brand new life of abundance and happiness when the two of you come in contact. One just fell on the floor. Let me get it. And it did flip over. Like I said, it's going to be that stability. Your person that you come in contact with might have an arm tattoo. You may have an arm tattoo. Both of you might have blondish, like light brown hair. One of you might have a child together, or one of you might have a child. Or if you're younger ages or, you know, childbearing ages, you might come together and have a child. But it's going to be that sense of home, that sense of long-term stability and abundance and happiness and everything moving in both your favors between Sagittarius and their person. Judgment and lovers wanted to come out. Sagittarius and their person, spirit. Just like I said, that equal give and take feeling. Knowing that what you put out is going to be appreciated, but it's also going to be reciprocated. It's going to be when you least expect it, the two of you come in contact with one another. It might be like something like when your car breaks down or where you're somewhere where you had other plans to be somewhere that night, maybe with your friends. And then you, you, like you get a call from a distant friend that says, you know what, we haven't met, I'm in the area, why don't we meet? And it might be at that time you run into this person, like somewhere where you're not expected to be, where you don't expect to be. It could be that you showed up there for that reason. You know, and it could be somewhere where they didn't intend to be and the two of you meet, but you are going to be each other's wish fulfillment. It's going to help heal anything in the past that didn't work for you, that hurt both of you. For Sagittarius and their person spirit. And the reason this is happening is because of the abundance you have individually. Because of the experiences that you went through that didn't work out in your favor. 
because of the journey you've been on, the strength that you gained, the abundance that you made for yourself. Now both of you are coming together as divine counterparts, the emperor and the empress, the strongest team, the strongest couple in the deck. All right, so this is your reading. You know what? Let me get some more clarity. I apologize. My allergies are just the worst this season. All right, Spirit. For Sagittarius. Another person. Child. Brand new beginnings. Brand new life. That's what it's going to feel like. The experiences that you're going to make together, the memories that you're going to make together are going to be like no other. <clears throat> it's going to be like the best days of your life from this point on. The mood, intuition, subconscious, there's going to be a lot of romance, affection. You're going to make each other a priority. It might be happening during the next new moon, which is, or the next full moon, which is May 16th. And it's a lunar eclipse. Might be happening during that time. All right, Spirit, anything else? For Sagittarius and their person. For Sagittarius. Well, okay, we're going to take them all. And look at this sunshine. Happiest card in the deck. Yes, just say yes. Energy, power, success. Happy and warm. Happy, happy. Clover, luck. Happy coincidence. Unexpected rendezvous. Remember the tower moment. During the summer, August 22nd to September 21st. The Hermit. Both of you have done some soul searching on what you truly want in a person. Connecting with your soul and your heart. Maybe if you're very spiritual, connecting with your spirit source. Allowing their messages to come to you. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. This person coming in your life. Not only are you going to be divine counterparts, but it, you're each other's destiny. The wheel is turning in your favor. On both your ends. It's going to feel like your dreams are coming true. All right, Sagittarius. This is your singles reading. I will be back for a um, total lunar eclipse and full moon reading general and love. Um, and if, like I said, if you're new, subscribe, like, and share, and I'll pull in your energy when I'm meditating, bring more personal messages to you. But also, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, head over to the, my Etsy shop. The link will be down below and you can check out all the readings that I offer for the clarity or the, you know, the answers that you, you need, that you're looking for. All right. So love and light. It's Stacy.